me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads, Marshall here with what could be my final in-form analysis of FIFA 13. I will be carrying this series over onto 14 so stick with me for that. But for now, in-form hat and Ben Arthur, what a player to end on. Newcastle fan myself and this guy is just amazing. 350 then on the Xbox 360 and 340 on the PlayStation 3. So quite an escalated fee if you want to buy him. He's got a 4 star weak foot and 5 star skill moves. Now his card stats aren't the best in the world. He's got 84 pace which is pretty standard for any winger on this game 78 passing and shooting with 87 dribbling it's up there with the best on the game this guy's dribbling his close control is top notch and you'll see that in game and you'll see that in his in game stats as well as you can see now he's got 87 ball control 92 dribbling that is just immense his finishing is quite high it isn't the best it can be but this guy's stats in game anyways don't represent how good he is on the pitch he's just amazing I know you'll see in a sec it's says his sprint speed is pretty bad but in game he's so fast he feels like Walcott on roids he just burst away from people I don't know whether that's given his 87 acceleration hit that top speed of 84 faster than most but again 84 isn't the fastest in the world and we start with a cracking goal here in the first game just cutting inside and banging that into the bottom corner what a strike and I've got good points power but it doesn't just mean his strength it means he's running his skill his shots all that come into that kind of power category and if this went in this just summarizes his card just look at that strike man that if if that had gone in I would have just jumped off the roof jumped off the roof and just um, yeah just ended it ended it right there but what a goal that is from Karen Benzema lobbing it over the goalkeeper from Hatton Ben Arthur's assist what a cracking pass that was before he capitalised on poor keeping, that is terrible goalkeeping from my opponent. If the ball's coming at you like that, just turn back. Don't just sprint at the ball. And that is one of the reasons. I think that was 5-0 in this game. I just went ham on this guy. Had him, Banafa was... He was a catalyst in the game, but he didn't get all the goals. I think that was his first goal in the game before this ball from Benzema set him free. And when he goes through one-on-one, -on -one, he's not going to miss. Nice little scoop turn, and he puts it in with his weaker foot. Now, given that one of his traits is avoids using weaker foot, he very rarely uses that right foot. And this is a prime example. When the ball comes to him, he could have smashed that with his right, but no, he likes to go with his left. And that is a nice little finish, because I don't care if he's just one-footed. That left foot is a wand. He goes through here one-on-one, -on -one, a great run yet again and he just puts it in at that near post he makes those runs constantly so if you're playing a 4-3-3 free free, as I am with this guy he constantly cuts in from that left hand side and this is just amazing I do get very lucky though right here when the ball bounces up I do get the ball back but look how close the ball sticks to his feet that is the ball control that is the dribble and that is the skill all tucked into one because he's just he's just a genius the ball just sticks at his feet like glue he reminds me of Eric Lamella now Eric Lamella on this game he is my favourite guy coming in from that right hand side with his left foot. But Ben Arthur, he is definitely a close second this inform card to Lamella's team this season as to who's the best on that right wing. So definitely, if you do have the coins, I would definitely go buy this guy. I've said definitely about 10 times, but... <laughs> it's a word that you would describe when you're recommending someone to go buy this guy. If someone says, should I buy Inform Ben Arthur, you would turn around and say, definitely. Now, <laughs> I've only given him a 4 out of 5 star rating simply because I've had his normal card all the way through this game and there isn't too many differences between that and this Inform card. And given that the price is roughly 350000 at the minute, that is, that is the only reason I'm giving him a 4 or 5 star rating. Because don't get me wrong, this guy is sensational. He's just amazing. And um, yeah, to quote that thing I was just saying before, definitely go buy him if you got the coins. And look at this penalty. Just what happens here? <laughs> the keeper is very unlucky. Hadem Bonafa just goes in and picks it up once the ball crosses the line. And that will be all she wrote for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it anyways. What could be my last review of FIFA 13. I don't know if it is yet, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Leave a like if you did. Sub if you haven't, and I will catch you all later.